Welcome to Know How Transfer. I'm Sherry and I'm going to talk to you about shape. Shape makes it pop. I absolutely love this app and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's begin by opening the Windows menu, go to Extensions, and then find Shape. The Shape box can be stored over here next to Layers in the tabs or in the dock. You can dock it or undock it, or you can even let it float. The box can be expanded or contracted to show all of the different functions, but primarily it's a easy to use application that works with sliders. The most important slider is shape. And as you'll see, I can move the slider in any direction and the highlights and shadows sliders are going to move with it. As you'll see, the settings are at 58058, and that matches the new layer that I've created. When I unlock the padlock, I can reveal the highlights and shadows protection sliders, and then begin to adjust those as well. The next slider that's really important is sharpness. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on the image and show you that just by Moving the slider, it changes that layer, and each move is reflected in that layer. You really want to be careful when you're using the sharpness slider that you protect the shadows because that's most often where you're going to see the artifacts from over sharpening. Now when I hit run, it will make whatever changes, it'll show whatever changes I've just created. When I hit new, and this is the way I like to use it, I get a brand new layer so that I can compare what I've just done with the previous version. So this way you can keep track of each of the, of the different settings you use and then look at the difference between them all. Now let's look at these other four buttons. These are presets that you can use in many instances. These will be all that you need. So play with these and see how they work for your images. And then again, when you lock or unlock the padlock, that allows you access to move the protect highlights and protect shadow sliders. New will create a new layer. Reset takes everything back to zero. And run gets it started for the first time. The on off button is simply the before and after. Before and after, on off. So that's obvious. Now what's down here? The home button takes us to the home page for shape on the internet. This question mark shows us what version of shape we're running. And this icon will open the manual. We really encourage you to have a look at this. It gives you way more details than we can do in a video. And there's so many hints and tips in here that you'll find useful. We recommend that you take a close look at it to learn more about shape. So let me now give you a brief introduction to the shape preferences panel. This is really an area for advanced users, but it's an important aspect of what shape can do. So I want to encourage you to actually learn in great detail how this works by watching the next tutorial called Customize Your Shape. Obviously the live preview just toggles off and on to give you a live preview of what your sliders will do. In color mode, the color accuracy will affect color in your RGB layers or channels. And the luminosity will allow you to boost the color by putting in a higher value here. Advanced options is absolutely for advanced users, and I won't go into it here, but encourage you to go watch the Customize Your Shape tutorial to learn all about it. Okay, thanks.